Well, good afternoon, everyone, or evening or morning, depending where you are joining us from. Welcome back to the Launchpad. We're jumping in here with uh, some breaking news about the International Space Station. We've been tracking this event uh, through the evening. Uh, late last night for us in North America, we did hear that there was a uh, close conjunction event with the International Space Station due to some space debris. This is something that happens with the station quite frequently uh so we didn't think anything much of it uh and this story has developed a lot over the last uh couple of hours uh as the u.s depart state department uh russia and a number of other agencies are now releasing statements uh and i'm just going to read the u.s state department statement that was released uh, about 30 minutes ago because it wraps it up uh easiest uh to understand Earlier today, the Russian Federation recklessly conducted a destructive satellite test using their anti-satellite weapon ASAT. It's an anti-satellite missile, uh, get, and they used it against one of their own satellites. So this was Russia against a Russian previous generation satellite. The big problem, and this is me now talking, the big problem is uh, as follows. This is continuing the statement. The test so far has generated 1,500, 1,500 pieces of of trackable orbital debris and hundreds of thousands of pieces of smaller debris that cannot be tracked. This de orbital debris threatens the interest of all nations in low Earth orbit. Uh, so as you can see, we've got our live tracker up here. The static that you're hearing as well, that is uh, the live comms of station to ground. Uh, and the big significance of this is, is this orbital debris path, this cloud, now passes the International Space Station every 93 minutes. So the International Space Station is on alert to the crews uh, every 93 minutes from what we have oh, been seeing through the evening. I've had to evacuate the station uh, and they have gone into their Crew Dragon and their Soyuz in case of a pressurization loss. The biggest issue is not the 1,500 pieces of trackable debris. We can track those. The issue is the hundreds of thousands of smaller pieces of debris that now threaten. If you're just joining us, uh, welcome here to the launch pad. We're uh, starting our live coverage of the International Space Station being on alert as Russia has conducted an anti-satellite weapons test on their own satellite, not on the space station. They conducted this on another satellite that satellite is believed to be the Cosmo 1408, uh, but we've not had full confirmation of that yet. Uh, but from everything that is pointing to that, the Cosmo 1408 has a orbital uh, track that's exactly with the cloud of debris, uh, causing the space station to be on alert every 93 minutes. There are procedures in place to protect the International Space Station uh, with crews being able to evacuate into their capsules for protection uh, and should they need to evacuate they would be able to do so. But um, uh, a big developing story we've been trying to uh, just get all the facts before we went fully live on what has occurred uh, but this is uh, uh, this is not good. Uh, this is something that uh, is a, a major issue uh, and the issue is this could force issues for days we're not too sure so we're trying to uh confirm all of that uh now actually we're seeing that the u.s department we're just seeing they we got confirmation that they might have been addressing it here we go. This is from the State Department. Seoul, he met Will some weeks ago to the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. And finally, earlier today, the Russian Federation recklessly conducted a destructive satellite test of a direct ascent anti-satellite missile against one of its own satellites. The test has so far generated over 1,500 pieces of tra trackable orbitable debris and hundreds of thousands of pieces of smaller orbitable orbital debris that now threaten the interests of all nations. In addition, this test will significantly increase the risk to astronauts and cosmonauts on the International Space Station, as well as to other human spaceflight activities. Russia's dangerous and irresponsible behavior jeopardizes the long-term sustainability of our outer space and clearly demonstrates 
that Russia's claims of opposing the weaponization of space are disingenuous and hypocritical. The United States will work with our allies and partners to respond to Russia's irresponsible. days so we're gonna keep our live tracker up you guys can continue to if you guys have questions you can continue to send those in in the chat and we will be answering those 2k7 you so basically gravity 2 uh basically uh unfortunately if you've seen the gravity movie this is very much something that uh is uh very similar to what occurred there 